Hey guys, I just got off work a little while ago, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of our trails before we get on to our garden tour, because yes, it is garden tour day. Before we get on to that, before I leave, I'm going to show you a little bit of this Lookout Mountain Trail. Uh, this is called the Colonel Kitty Trail. It is uh, just adjacent to Reflection Riding's property, um, and if you would like to do this hike, um, if you don't have a membership to Reflection Riding in order to park in the gravel parking lot that's just across from it, you'll either need a membership or a permit. Um, and to get the permits, you go to reflectionriding.org. And if you, <laughs> for some reason, don't want to pay um, or don't want to get the permit, you'll have to walk. Um, there's a, the parking place for this is at the end of Garden Road, so it's a mile walk. Um, I don't, it, more fun, easier just to park in the gravel parking lot, get your permit. It's only 15 bucks um, to either get your permit or your smart thing to do, because you know you're going to come want to come a lot, is to get a park, get the Reflection Writings membership. Um, so much easier. But let's go on through here and we'll share a little bit of what we found on the trail today. So as you can tell, um, this trail is going to need a little bit of work. This is actually not a tree. This is a limb that has fallen from way up there somewhere. So this is not a tree. This is a limb that got shoved into the ground. And it is wedged in there really well. See it down in there? That is a limb that fell over and got wedged. Uh, but then there's several other limbs that are down. But this is a really pretty trail. It actually goes this direction, and you follow it down through here. And this thing is just picturesque. It's just beautiful. Here are the birds. This is a really pretty trail to go on. Um, it is a little rugged, so I don't recommend it if you've never hiked before. I definitely recommend um, hiking some of the other trails. This one is, I was going to say a fog march, <laughs> as they call it, because it is nicknamed the kitty trail so of course people think it's a kids trail but it's not it's colonel kitty's trail so this is the trail um, that the troops went up so that's a fun little fact um, but yeah there's some beautiful hiking spots along here and i'll show you some more here in a minute Look guys, look what we came upon. We came upon a box turtle. Beautiful box turtle. So you never know what you're going to find when you're hiking in the woods. Today, it happened to be a little box turtle. See if I can get a. He might go back in now that I've kind of scared him. Oh, we're gonna get lucky. He's gonna walk. Now I say he. I haven't checked the bottom of him to see if it says boy or girl. Bye, Mr. Turtle. Looks like he's going down to get a drink.
don't worry, I went back to make sure he got out of the water. Because I know they can swim. <laughs> but don't worry, see? Look, he's not there anymore. See? Mr. Turtle left. He did not drown. Look at the pretty moss. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, see? Mr. Turtle lives. All right, let's try that again. Who's ready for a garden tour? So, um, we've had three days of rain. So, let's just say the garden is loving all this rain. It's exploding. So, let me take you around and show you what is uh, growing right now. All right, if we first look through here, you guys can see... all the green beans that are coming on. We got little tiny beans everywhere. It's loaded with green beans there. These are just starting to flower. This one's got some on it. But this entire bed is green beans. So it is loaded. So soon we'll have green beans to eat. And then over here we have several tomatoes. This one hasn't been put in the ground yet, so it's just kind of chilling in its pot. Um, but it's got some flowers on it. This is the pink bumblebee. No, purple bumblebee. Uh, so this is one of the, <coughs> excuse me, one of the uh, cherry varieties. And then this row right here is full, um, which has got to be clipped um, since we've had so much rain. It has exploded, <laughs> um, and our cilantro has completely about bolted on me from here. And let's see, we've got these little guys. Those are those tomatoes. I don't remember what variety that one is. I'll have to look on my notes. Um, but it looks like I've got some trimming to do. This this limb needs to go. This limb needs to go. Um, but they're they're just beautiful. And this one has kind of split into a three three stalk. I'm not going to cut these because I don't know which one is the main stalk anymore. So we'll just leave it and I'll just let it go. But we are loaded with blossoms. Look at these beans, guys. Scarlet runner beans are just beautiful. They're running all up and down the trellis pretty soon. They are just way up here on my trellis. Um, the blooms are starting to kind of die off a little bit. Focus. Focus. <laughs> now. There we go. Focus now. Huh. So these guys, they're starting to die off, but the blooms are just beautiful. I love the, the colors on these guys. And then my mystery plant, it was... The label I got from the swap said a hollyhock, but it's almost looking like a nasturtium. So I don't know what it is. So if anybody knows, Feel free to chime in. And then our poor rosemary down here is getting a little overshadowed. And then we've got a Swiss chard that got stuck there for some reason. Um, anyway, do you guys remember how tiny the uh, cucumelons and the cucumbers were on this trellis? Well, check this out. They are climbing. Look at them. They're about a quarter of the way up this trellis. And their leaves are just gorgeous. I don't see any cucumelons on them yet or cucumbers. Oh wait, there's one little cucumber that's trying to come on. So that's female flower. Hopefully the male flowers will pollinate her. Uh, but here's more of the trellis. 
Now I do have to pull out some of these cucumbers, which I forgot to do because uh, we won't need that many in this bed. There's just too many in here. Um, I'll pull them out soon. But our dill has fallen over in the last three days of rain. <laughs> and so I'll probably stake him back up. But look how beautiful the dill is. He's just gorgeous. Well, cilantro is going crazy. It's getting ready to bolt here on me soon. I'll have to plant some more. And then our eggplants that we transplanted are doing relatively well. I got a flea beetle damage on them, which I noticed the other day when I came out here. See, we got some flea beetles. They've eaten them up. Hopefully they don't eat them all completely. The hordes of tomatoes. See, there's more tomatoes here. There's tomatoes down there. And then, wah wah, there's more tomatoes here. And look how big they're getting. Some are almost to the top of my um, trellis I've got for them, which is about just shy of five foot on the one side. And then this side is a five and a half foot trellis. So. I'll be staking them up a lot soon here. But all of my cherry tomatoes have blooms on them. So soon, each variety is going to give me some tomatoes, which I cannot wait. And there's quite a few different ones. I've got um, between the Roma, which isn't a cherry. Um, excuse me, the purple bumblebee, the pink bumblebee, the blueberry. Uh, the Sunrise, I've got those, uh, the Chadwick Cherry, all of these are just about, every single one of them is in bloom. And there are 12, I think, in this space. I know they're a little crowded, but I've been pruning them, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about um, airflow with the prunes. But, um, I wouldn't rag, I'd... If I do this again, when I do it next year, I'm not going to put 12 plants in there. Um, I mistakenly got a little overhanded when they were small and thought, oh, they'll all fit. Yeah. Next time, maybe 10 to 8 plants in this little area. Um, but yeah, that's these are some of the tomatoes. There's more. Remember, there's more tomatoes in the yard. So we'll get to those in a minute. But first, let's check out the zucchini. We've got some on. See? We've got some of our scallop zucchini. Now that's either the white or the green. And then we've got a whole bunch of these golden zucchinis. Look at them. I'm inundated with them. I've got that there. I've got these over here. That one didn't get pollinated. He's turning a sad color. And then, oh, look, down over here, there's more. And there's one more down there. Oh, and more down here. It's time to start clipping leaves again. All of these. I got stuck in there. All the leaves are just going crazy. Look at this bed. It's just, it's exploded. An explosion of zucchini. Look, here's some more of the scallop kind. Whoop, that one didn't get pollinated. He's on the ground. He's got one right there. we got a couple here. That one's getting ready to flower. Hopefully he'll get pollinated. And then i got some more here. Look at all these beautiful babies. Ooh. And look at my zinnias. This one will be blooming soon. And this one's getting ready to bloom. My zinnias are looking so pretty. Pretty soon I'll have lots of flowers on. But look, see that? That's all the more tomatoes. They're getting bigger. 
And who remembers how small the sugar snap pea trellis was? Well, guess what? It's gotten a lot bigger. Look at it. They've fallen all over in the rain, and I've got to um, stake them back up. But, look, look at that. Peas here, peas there, loaded with peas here. We've got more peas down here. All the way up this trellis here. We've got some back here. This thing is just loaded. I cannot wait. I'll be another week, and we'll be picking a whole bunch of them. Now this guy, I did not plant him. <laughs> he came up in my compost. Uh, this I think is one of the tamales from last year. Um, I don't know if he'll do anything. But, no, oh, he's got a little buddy. There's another one right here. Um, so he might do something. Didn't really eat them last year because I didn't really know what to make them with them. So if anybody has anything, let me know. Oh. Look, what's growing in my walkway? <laughs> we have lettuce. Oh my goodness. There's lettuce in my walkway. That's funny. Can't believe I didn't notice that. Some good sized lettuce too. Good sized loose lettuce. Um, but yeah, soon these trellises will be loaded. Right now it's got sugar snap peas. And if you look here, this is a gourd, and it has already gotten up here. It is the Martin House Gourds, and it's looking beautiful. Um, the lemon balm is kind of hiding. I've got to clip some more of the plants. But, for those who got to see the other day, uh-oh, ah, one got eaten. So... My Kajari melon has come up, this one is eaten, and there was a third one, and that one has been munched on. Bummer. Alright, I'll have to keep my eye on this little guy, because it looks like he's being eaten too. I may have to start a couple inside and transplant them, if they don't produce. Um, and these are my mystery plants. I don't know what these are. Tag has gone away, so... They could be a squash, or they could be a, a uh, gourd, so I don't know. What do you guys think? And then these are melons. And there's three here, four. This one's been kind of eaten. I don't think that one's going to do anything. But I'm just going to let those go. I didn't think there was any of the regular zucchini on, but look. From this end, I can see it now. Look at him. Pretty little zucchini. I'll keep my eye on him. Alright, the table's clean squash is blooming. And look at my mountain mint. It is looking gorgeous. I cannot wait to start using this and stuff. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. My thyme is looking pretty. Now, strawberries. I had some rotten squirrels eating my strawberries. I'm going to have to get something for next year to keep them out of my strawberries because they've eaten all of them. There's been six that were getting ready to be ripe, and they ate them all. I'm not happy. But anyway, back to the tour. Alright, so my cucumbers are not uh, quite on this trellis yet. They've just started to peek up on the trellis. And yes, my nephews had a ball and planted like a bazillion of them. So I know I have to go through and pull the ones that are not doing too well. But look at these peppers. Some of them are being eaten a little bit. But most of them are looking really well. They're doing really good. These guys got planted later. So they are... Um, Probably going to end up getting uh, food from them later, but uh, it's alright. And look, my poor holy basil. He's got eaten. Anybody else have trouble with bugs this year? They've been ravaging my food. Uh, these poor plants. And there's more down through here. Peppers. Um, eggplants. I'll take you guys over there so you can see them better. 
we get more peppers here. And then I think these are flowers. I don't remember what these are. I think they're flowers of some kind to just kind of mix in. But yeah, see, all of the eggplants are being ravaged by flea beetles. And then the peppers are getting taller since I planted them. And then even the poor basil is being rampaged because this dark opal basil down here used to be so pretty and now it's sad. But look how big these tomatoes have gotten. This one is a potato leaf variety. It's about time to take these guys up. I'm going to have to start tying them. But they're, they're getting big. The th three days of rain have really helped with that. Um, I was kind of worried because I was going to have to water if it hadn't rained. And then, of course, it rains for three days. <laughs> and so every time I come out here to pick lettuce, it's waterlogged. Some poor lettuce. And then broccoli. Does anybody in 7A, 7B-ish have any luck with broccoli? I can't. Spring broccoli? No. It, it just does not do anything. It, it comes to a head and then it goes right to seed. Um, fall broccoli does fairly well. But spring, if anybody has a good luck in 7A, 7B with broccoli in the springtime, give me your tips. Because it usually gets too hot way too quick and just bolts. So, yeah, if you've got some tips, bring them at me. See, there's, it's, right now, they just kind of make these beautiful leaves. And then it tries to form a little head. Sometimes I even get, like, a small head. But then it just goes. And then more of the zucchini. I'm going to have a zucchini for neighbors for days. <laughs> My poor neighbors are going to be so sick of zucchini. And then some more carrots. And we've still we've been picking pretty steadily from this bed of the carrots. Some of them are actually fairly big. Uh, some are really small. Um, and then we have the kids' garden bed, which is a hodgepodge. They've left the tomatoes that got in there with the compost. They didn't want to pull them. They wanted to grow them, so I said, eh. It's a kids' garden. Let them have a fall. And then they've got a cucumber in here that's starting to climb the trellis. They've got um, Tesla and Current Tomato in here. Um, this is supposed to be a really t small tomato variety. Um, if we get tomatoes off of it, great. If we don't, it's a novelty for them. Um, and then they've got a squash, I think, down there. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> but yeah, these. Oh, they have peppers. Where's the pepper plant? Look at peppers be. Yeah, it is. Here it is. We may get peppers, we may not. But it's alright, it's a fun experiment for the boys. My nephews love, at least one of them loves the garden. And the other one is starting to get into it now that he knows he can eat stuff. The beans. This one is loaded. Look at here. We've got some here, some here, some here. This is just loaded with beans. I cannot wait. Didn't get very tall. This must not have been a uh, really vining variety. I think this one is a yellow bean. I don't remember. And then the kids worm farm. They've been eating their worms. And feeding them. Then the potatoes, which are finally starting to kind of get eaten and die back. I don't remember when I'm supposed to pick them. I think it's after they flower and die off, but we'll probably brush them aside here soon and see if we get anything. But this is the garden. It's doing fairly well. Um, I'll take you guys inside the greenhouse. Oops. I'll take you guys here in the greenhouse in a second. Um, and let you see the tomato that's growing in there because that one has been growing since, of course, September of last year. Ooh, poet. 
so we'll get that one out so you guys can see it and see how well it's growing. Oh, and by the way, if I can zoom over, nope, over here, went too far. See these? These are more tomatoes. See? See? I, I, I grew way too many tomatoes. Way too many. I, uh, uh. <laughs> Those tomatoes are probably going to stay here in the yard for a little while. But if, if anybody local wants tomatoes, hit me up. You can have tomatoes. But here is the greenhouse. It's empty. Look at it. But there's our tomato. Right there. See those? So let's go check out the tomatoes. Remember how tiny these guys were? Look at them. These two, I think these are salad at size because these are not getting really much bigger. Uh, but these two are doing beautifully and then these two have just started growing on here and they haven't blushed yet but they, they're trying so hopefully soon we'll get some our first tomato of the season that's all i got for today guys um well i could show you my wild columbine seeds that i thought were dead but um, they're growing because they take 30 days and it's been more than 30 days. But these guys, how cute they are. Look at them. They're actually growing. I'll be able to start transplanting these guys soon. And then some other native flower varieties that came up. Ooh, we gotta water them. Poor babies. All right, but well, thanks for watching guys. Um, this garden tour has been a lot of fun. Pretty soon we'll be having uh, harvesting videos along with the garden tours, so keep an eye out for those. Um, I'll also be doing more hiking videos, so get ready for those as well. Bye guys!